हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल लॉजिक एंड फिलोसफी टुडे आई एम बिफोर यू विथ ए न्यू टॉपिक दिस इज डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ वैलिड मोड्स ऑफ सिलोजिम सो द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ वैलिड मोड्स ऑफ सिलोजिम इन द लास्ट सेशन आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस सिलोजिम कैटेगरिकल सिलोजिम नेचर एंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ सिलोजिम स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सिलोजिम फिगर्स एंड मोड्स ऑफ सिलोजिम यू कैन वॉच द प्रीवियस क्लास फ्रॉम द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स आई हैव गिवेन द लिंक सो दैट इट विल बी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड टोटल चैप्टर सिलोजिम बिफोर स्टार्ट द क्लास प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट और एनी क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड प्लीज आक्स बाय कमेंट let starts the topic valid modes of syllogism modes of syllogism modes of syllogism is determined by the quality and quantity of two premises and three proposition quantity ebon quality mananku nei ki amara modes hoy thai jemiti ki here i have taken an example this is the modes of syllogism this is i have taken two concrete example here all men are mortal all kings are men all kings are mortal here the modes is a a, a. this proposition is a second proposition is a and third proposition proposition also a that means this is the mode of this concrete example is a a a in in the second example that mode of the uh, concrete example the modes is a e e here first uh, premise is major premise it is a proposition second premise is minor premise and third is conclusion and the modes is determined by the quality and quantity of the given proposition determination of valid mode we have already discussed the general syllogistic rules let us apply these rules to the different possible modes there are 64 possible modes that means from 16 uh, 16 into 4 equal to 64 possible modes how is it possible here a a a e a i a o this is 4 then total number of possible modes are 64 so here we will apply general syllogistic rules uh, then from 64 there are only 19 valid modes we will see that there are only 19 valid modes from the 64 possible modes so i will discuss one by one first a a determination of valid modes so this is the valid modes of first figure वैलिड मोड्स प्रथम आम ए ए कम्बिनेसन नवा ए ए ए प्रपोजिशन एंड ए प्रपोजिशन यहाँ कौटि नब ना फास्ट फिगर रवा फास्ट फिगर इज द रिभर्स अफ इंग्लीश लेटर जेड जेड रल्टा ठीक होता है जोटा कि कमी होता है जेड रल्टा दिस्ज फास्ट फिगर तेल फास्ट फिगर रे आम मिडिल टर्म टी सब्जेक्ट प्लेस रे थाए मेजर प्रेमिस रो माइनर प्रेमिस रो प्रेडिकेट प्लेस रे थाए तेणु यहाँ है एम एम फर मिडिल टर्म आठ थेजर टर्म एंड माइनर टर्म देयर फोर एस पी दिस इज द फास्ट फिगर मिडिल द प्लेस ऑफ द मिडिल टर्म इन मेजर प्रेमिस सब्जेक्ट प्लेस एंड इन माइनर प्रेमिस द प्लेस ऑफ मिडिल टर्म इज प्रेडिकेट प्लेस दिस इज द कंक्लूजन सो आई विल राइट द कंक्रीट एग्जांपल प्रपोजिशनल एग्जांपल दैट इज ऑल एम इज पी फॉर मेजर प्रेमिस then for minor premise for this all s is m therefore all s is p here 
this is middle term both are middle term and this is first figure in first figure and this is minor premise major premise this is minor premise and this is conclusion so in a a combination the middle term is distributed in the major premise the middle term is distributed in the major premise how uh, we know that this proposition is a this proposition is also a conclusion is also a here in, we notice that in the first uh, proposition this is a proposition a proposition distributed their subject so here universal proposition distributed their subject here middle term is distributed the minor term which is distributed in the conclusion is also distributed in the minor premise the minor term is distributed in the conclusion so here universal pro proposition distributed their subject here a a a all are universal proposition and universal proposition distributed their subject here first proposition a proposition here middle term is distributed then in second in the minor premise a is also distributed in the conclusion a is also distributed here the minor term which is distributed in the conclusion is also distributed in the minor premise this is the minor term it is distributed in the conclusion because universal proposition distributed their subject a is a universal pro universal proposition so s is distributed s distributed conclusion ne heichi ebam minor premise re madhya heichi tenu rule konosi violate rule hoi nahi eta sabu satisfy karuchi so the conclusion is a and the argument is free from any kind of fallacy it konosi fallacy dekha jao nahi konosi rule violate karu nahi tenu e jo combination ta a ए ए ए ए गोटे कॉम्बिनेशन हला ए कॉम्बिनेशन हला एहा गोटे वैलिड मोड ऑफ फर्स्ट फिगर दिस इज अ वैलिड मोड ऑफ फर्स्ट फिगर एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड बारबरा बारबरा स्टैंड्स फॉर मेजर प्रीमिस माइनर प्रीमिस एंड कंक्लूजन इट इज फॉर मेजर प्रीमिस ए second a for minor premise and third a for conclusion so total the turn uh, the first figure uh, it is valid modes the name is barbara next combination a and e that means major premise a and minor premise e in first figure then first figure the reverse of z this is mid place of middle term this is conclusion and p major term and s minor term this is the reverse of english letter z so here we will take this as a proposition and this as a proposition we will draw an conclusion what will be the conclusion first we will write the structure a proposition all m is p then all sorry e proposition so we will write no s is m and then conclusion we will get the conclusion how we will get the conclusion here this is a proposition major premise minor premise e proposition here 
यूनिवर्सल प्रपोजिशन यूनिवर्सल अफरेटिव प्रपोजिशन दिस इज यूनिवर्सल नेगेटिव प्रपोजिशन यूनिवर्सल प्रपोजिशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड देयर सब्जेक्ट एंड दिस इज आल्सो यूनिवर्सल प्रपोजिशन एंड यूनिवर्सल प्रपोजिशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड देयर सब्जेक्ट एंड नेगेटिव प्रपोजिशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड देयर प्रेडिकेट दैट मींस ई प्रपोजिशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड देयर सब्जेक्ट एंड प्रेडिकेट बोथ here you notice that a proposition distributed their subject that means universal proposition distributed their subject here subject is distributed in the major premise in minor premise is e proposition e proposition is universal negative universal proposition distributed their subject that means s is distributed and also distributed their predicate that means predicate also distributed in conclusion if suppose conclusion uh, i will write no s is p then here you see that uh, this premise is negative if suppose one premise is negative the conclusion must be negative according to the rule of uh, general syllogistic rule तेणु जदि यहीटा नेगेट अच्छी तेणु कनक्लूजन नेगेट हम बट इन कनक्लूजन यू नोटिस यू सी दैट बोथ प्रेमिस डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड दैट मीनस दिस इज इ प्रपोजिशन इन कनक्लूजन सपोज इट इज इ प्रपोजिशन इ प्रपोजिशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड दे आर सब्जेक्ट एंड प्रेडिकेट बोथ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड हियर कनक्लूजन ने पी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड होट इटी मेजर प्रेमिस पी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड होना आमर जेनेल सिलोजिस्टिक रूल अच्छी इफ सपोज वन टर्म इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन द कनक्लूजन इट मस्ट बी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन द प्रेमिस बट हियर दिस दिस इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन द कनक्लूजन बट नट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन द प्रेमिसे सो इट इज कल्ड फैलेसी अफ इलिसीट मेजर दैट इज इट भायोलेट्स द रूल अफ जेनेल सिलोजिस्टिक रूल्स सो हियर नो कनक्लूजन इज ड्रन That means here conclusion no conclusion is drawn. So it is not a valid combination. That means it is a invalid combination. Invalid. Next combination is A and I. A for मेजर प्रेमिस एंड आई फॉर माइनर प्रेमिस दिस इज मिडिल टर्म एम दिस बी एस देन कंक्लूजन एस पी then i will write the structure the structures of a proposition all m is p next i proposition sum s is m therefore sum s is p sum s is p this is also i how is it possible first premise major premise is a second premise minor premise is i conclusion is i how is it possible here a proposition universal affirmative i proposition particular affirmative and this is also i proposition particular affirmative here both the premise are affirmative a proposition affirmative and i proposition is also affirmative from two affirmative proposition we draw only affirmative conclusion according to general syllogistic rule that means if the two premises are affirmative then conclusion must be affirmative so affirmative proposition is i then another rule one premise is is particular then conclusion must be particular
particular according to general syllogistic rule this premise is particular i i proposition is particular and conclusion is also particular that means one premise is particular then conclusion also particular that means it uh, satisfy the rules of general syllogism must be distributed at least once here middle term is distributed a proposition distributed their subject that means middle term also distributed at least one then conclusion i proposition distributed uh, neither subject nor predicate that means it satisfy all the rules of general syllogism so it is the diary d a r i i this is the term a uh, valid mode called as diary a for major premise and a for major premise i for minor premise and second i for conclusion that valid mode is diary like this you will do all the valid modes of first figure and next class i will continue other figure of valid modes thank you